Welcome, my name is Ron Shaw and I'm going to be your video instructor for this short video on installing DHCP in a Windows 2008 environment. Now, once we um, get our uh, server up and running, one of the first things we're going to need to do to help us manage our client's IP address assignments is set up a uh, DHCP server to issue out IP addresses to all my hosts. Now this way it's going to uh, take an administrating burden off of you the administrator so you don't have to go to each individual client and sign them a IP address now uh, there's going to be two things you're going to have to take in consideration one your IP address scheme that you want to use and typically since we are going to be behind a um, firewall device we're going to use one of the private IP address range either in the 10.0.0 uh, the 172.16.0.0 or the 192.168.0.0 range so we're going to use one of those RFC 1918 address blocks also, we got to uh, think about: um, Are we in a sta um, are we a standalone, meaning that we're in a work group environment? Or are we in a domain environment? If we're in a domain environment, we're going to have to make sure that we have uh, privileges in order to authorize this DACP server in Active Directory. But otherwise, if we're just in a work group, which is the um, I actually I've got this set up in a domain I will have to authorize it first before the services can get started so before we get there the first thing I'm going to have to do is get the uh, services uh, or add the role to the server so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to maximize this screen here real quick go down here go to the start go to server manager and then from here I'm going to um, open up the role and then add a role all right, it'll take a few seconds for here for this role to f come in here. So I'll, I'll just click on the role. Uh, and I'm going to add a role. Now, in here, we'll go next. Now, as you can see here, I'm going to select the DHCP uh, server option. Click next. And then next. Now, it's going to shut there and say, hey, one or more of these have static IP addresses protected. So, in order for this to uh, set up, you're going to have to have at least one of your interfaces or the interfaces that will be supplying IP addresses to the client will have to be static IP addresses. It makes sense. How can your clients get to the DHCP server if he is dynamic himself? So, make sure you got all interfaces that, uh, that are going to be used to assign addresses to your host have static IP addresses. Now, of course, we'll go in here and we'll see our uh, information here. We'll validate and see if we can uh, get it um, DNS server and everything looks good. Now, WINS is not required for applications in here on the network because I don't have any WINS um, um, applications. Now, in here, what it's going to do is going to ask you to add a scope. Now, you can either do it now or later. Now, what is a scope? A scope is just nothing more than a range of IP addresses that are going to be used to assign to our host. So, what I'd like to do is here, I'm just going to go ahead and add a scope at this time. So, I'll give it a scope name. I'm going to call this one DMZ Scope since this is uh, going to be working for the DMZ. My starting address, 172.16.1. Let's say 50. Ending IP address, 172.16.1. 16.1 let's say uh, 150 I'll give myself a hundred addresses in here um, 255 255 255.0 uh, subnet mass now I'm gonna go ahead and define my gateway now my gateway is going to be basically this um, servers IP address or if this was not acting as a server then I would sit there and want to put my router interface that's on the same network as my host now here again I control the lease period I can say uh, for wireless if this is going to be for a wireless access in every eight hours to have it uh, to to request a new lease but since this is going to be doing for LANs or wired network I'm going to just say it you notice the uh, little checkbox in there was um, for um, activate the scope otherwise if I uncheck that then the scope will not be activate active and no client will be able to get an IP address so we'll go next now do you want to enable um, uh, DHCP uh, version 6 stateless mode no I don't because I don't have any v6 uh, host on my network at this time now in here since this is a active directory domain I'm gonna have to authorize it so again you're gonna need uh, enterprise admin privileges or domain admin privileges in order to perform this task so if you're logged in as another user then make sure you use the proper credentials now if you wanted to skip it you could select this however just remember uh, 
um, if it's not authorized, the DHCP services will be disabled if uh, in a domain environment if it tries to start up. Now again, we just see a little short summary here of what information is being configured. I'll go install. Shouldn't take but a few seconds to go in here. Now, um, if you would like, I've got other training videos on the um, on the YouTube channel 3CI Tech, or you can go to uh, Arshaw 99167 uh, YouTube channel, and you can see uh, um, my other videos. So at this time, I'm going to pause my video for a second. It'll take a few minutes for this to go through. As you can see, we're getting pretty close to the end of this installation, so it takes about four to five minutes for this to go through, so uh, just be patient. Now, if any time during the process you get an error, um, again, you'll just have to investigate those errors, but typically uh, the most common error I've seen with these is uh, you put incorrect credentials or, um, or the credentials were not authorized to um, perform this service. So we can see here everything looked good. However, I do have one warning message, so I'd want to go in there and investigate that to ensure um, that nothing major was um, wrong. Now, let's go up to the role, and the first thing I'm going to do is click on my server here. Uh, and what we're going to do is verify it to uh, look at some information here. Now you noticed here I don't have a plus arrow here. Now that's this is typical for uh, any time you add a service, uh, and you won't be able to get into the options or see it. So what I'd like to do is just exit out here, and we'll go back and restart the server manager, and then everything should pop up fine with the DHCP server. I don't know, it's just something that I just typically see with services on um, with Server 2003 and Server 2008. So now you see we got a plus arrow. I can see my server here. Uh, everything looks good. I can look at my uh, version 4. Now you notice this little green arrow. That means it's up and running. So now let's go in here and look. Had I need to uh, authorize it here, this is the tab where you go to authorize the de uh, device. If I need to add and remove bindings, now what is this? Well, these bindings just tell it. I'm oh, sorry here. Let me go back to binding. If I didn't, if I want to temporarily disable this device from assigning IP addresses on a particular interface, I just uncheck it here, and then uh, that way it will not uh, be listening on that particular interface for DHCP requests. All right. Now let's go down and look at my scope. Now, as you can see here, um, let me move this over a little bit. I've got my scope, and here's the name of it. Now, as you can see, this button here says activate or deactivate. So if I want this scope to be temporarily disabled or deactivated, I just click this and it's going to say, hey, your this scope is currently active. This aim will prevent clients from attaining. That's all it is. Simple. Now, you'll notice again, you'll see the little red down arrow selecting. Now, let's go back in here and I'll, I'll reactivate it here. Now, here's my address pool. As you can go in here and see the address ranges. Uh, if I had any leases of clients, they, I'd be able to go in here and see those um, particular um, devices here, that the, the clients that's got IP addresses. Now, reservation. Now, a reservation ensures that a DHCP client is always assigned the same IP address. Let's say we have a non-Microsoft product out there, maybe like a Unix system, but I want to make sure that this Unix de device will always get the same IP address. Well, what I can do is I can go in there and create a reservation for this device, and all I have to need is its MAC address, and then I can sit there and based off of its MAC, I can um, create a map to an IP address for this client. Now, the last one in here is scope option. Now, as you can already see, when I went through the setup, it gave me some scope options. However, had you skipped that particular part, I would need to go in here and add scope options. So now, to add a scope option, you just go to configuration options, and then from here, you can define any um, of the scope options. Now, as the word means, this applies to the scope. So anything here um, applied here will apply to the scope. So you can see the various options. Now, I can also go down here and have server options. Now, this will apply, these options will apply to all the scopes for this particular server. And then, of course, um, I can actually, um, I have my scope options, I have my uh, server options that I can apply. All right. Um, thank you for uh, viewing this video, and I hope to see you back in the future.
and have a good day.